Hi, I'm Sharon Jones of Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, and you're listening to KRUI 89.7. You're listening to KRUI, Iowa City. Hey, hello. You're listening to... KRUI in Iowa City, 89.7 FM on your radio, KRUI.FM to stream online. My name's Justin Comer, this is I Hear I See Radio. It's a show about local music and local art and local musicians and local artists. We have returned to the KRUI studios after several weeks of exile due to locked doors and ineffective keycard systems. <laughs> I have a a guest in the studio today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Chris Emery. It's you. You were on the show recently. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, you did a show with me at my house. Yeah. And a bunch of our other friends. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. I think that was episode 54. Yeah. So so if you're listening to this and you want to hear more of Chris's voice, go back two episodes in the podcast feed. Yeah, yeah, you can find it there. Yeah. But if you're listening live and you'd like to uh, get in touch with us, you can tweet at the I Hear I See account. It's at I Hear I See, I H E A R I C. Or you could email me, I Hear I See at gmail.com. I'll be watching both of those while we're here in the studio. If you're really crazy, you could even call us on the phone. And that phone number is 319 335 8970. And we'll see if I can get it to uh, work if you call doesn't happen very often. <laughs> All right, so this is the first show of 2019, and we're going to use this occasion to play a bunch of music from 2018. <laughs> <laughs> so last week I recorded a show at home, and I played about an hour's worth of music that we recorded at the I Hear I See live shows throughout 2018, and I still have another hour to get through today. So this is stuff that I haven't played on the radio show before but that I recorded at the live shows last year. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I play live live recordings from our shows on this show, on the radio program, but then I have a bunch left over from last year that I haven't played yet. Right. So I'm playing some of those today. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the 2018 wrap-up part two, and we're going to get that started right now. So first off, I have several recordings from the September 21st show at the Java House. Quite a bit of it is poetry, actually. So first up, we're going to play two poems by our friend Laura Fellman. The first one is called The Iron of the Holy Spirit. The second one is called The Wave. And I'm going to follow that up with uh, some music by the Argus Trio. This is them performing Erwin Schulhoff's Concertino Movement One. All right, so here's some poetry from Laura. And then some music from the Argus Trio. And then Chris and I will be back to uh, discuss things. Yeah. (laughs) The Iron of the Holy Spirit. Smoothed out. All the pitches and pits of which I was unaware. Prayed into a place where it is possible to imagine a kinder self. One not putting herself in a twist of exponential accomplishments. I am impressed, attentive, trusting the next. The wave. Fans in black and gold are waving. They are waving. Black and gold boosters are waving to the children. To the children in starchy gowns pinned with IVs, they are waving a friendly, hello. Players and coaches are cheering. They are cheering. Competing rivals 
are cheering. They are cheering for the children. For the children wrestling with diseases and pains, they are cheering a courageous fight. Legislators in capitals are chipping. They are chipping. Politicians with budgets are chipping away the children, away the children whose parents sigh over the mail. They are chipping with a hard denied. Doctors and administrators are waving. They are waving. Nurses and technicians are waving at the children, at the children with ills bigger than their means, they are waving a final goodbye. Bye. Uh -huh. 
If you're just tuning in, this is I Hear, I See Radio. You just heard the Argus Trio performing Erwin Schulhoff's Concertino, Movement 1. Uh, Argus Trio is Tyler Hendrickson, Gregory Bardwell, and Alex Furkey. And before that, you heard two poems by our friend Laura Fellman. I'm here in the studio hanging out with Chris. Hey, everybody. How do you feel, Chris? Pretty good. Did you like that last one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. It's good noises. Yeah. Uh, While we were listening to that, um, we had uh, somebody nice call in, so shout out to Joe for giving us a ring and uh, encouraging us in our radio mission. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And we were also, we were talking about uh, New Year's resolutions, since it's near the beginning of the year. Uh, Last Mm -hmm. week, I recorded a show at home, and Michelle and I gave each other uh, New Year's resolutions, so Chris and I are thinking about doing that right now with, with me and him. Right. Do you have anything in mind for me? Uh, there are a couple of things I was thinking about, but uh, I was thinking about the number 2019 mm-hmm. and maybe having 2019 of something. Maybe you have to collect 2019 toothpicks from uh, stores around or restaurants. You know how they always have toothpicks at the register and stuff? Right. And I need to collect 2019 of them? Yes. Okay. That's an interesting resolution. <laughs> <laughs> maybe come up with an art piece for with it i don't know yeah yeah uh i have i have it's maybe not a super like concrete idea at this point but uh you're in grad school right now yeah in new hampshire so your life currently revolves around doing a bunch of like smart things yeah research (laughs) reading reading books uh so i think your resolution has to be doing something dumb so uh oh yes (laughs) maybe in 2019 you will you will play more video games Ooh, yeah. <laughs> than you did in 2019. I, yeah, I think, or 2018, yeah. I bet I could do more than I did last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can try to make that happen. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, did you have any other ideas besides the toothpicks, or should I just well, uh, commit to that? <laughs> I mean, toothpicks is a pretty good one, mm. but otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I know there's some, I was thinking too, there's probably one we could do jointly, and it's oh, probably okay. going to happen anyway, but oh, okay. <laughs> trying to record more things for new year's eve next year oh yeah maybe i should resolve to uh finish producing recordings that we made over a year ago oh yeah yeah that's <laughs> I've, i still have like about an hour of music that we recorded in my garage that yeah. has not seen the light of day yeah but so on maybe, the back burner a little yeah, bit maybe i can resolve to to finish working on that stuff yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that one <laughs> yeah and i and then I'll, the toothpicks. I'll assign you one more then. Uh, you should resolve to create some more album art for that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Good idea, yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, so it's about time for me to play a public service announcement, which is very exciting. Um, Chris, the way that this works is they have, well, I got to find the right window first, but they have uh, a bunch of PSAs here on a rotation. So when I click a, when I click a button, it does like, it chooses one at random. And there are some that are fun. There are some that are boring. But oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we get. Uh, but right after I play the PSA, I'm going to go back into these recordings from back in September. Uh, first off, I'm going to play three more poems. This is going to be a very poetry-heavy episode. Uh, yeah. Three poems by our friend Mark Riome. The first one's called Vanilla Ice Cream. Uh, then he has some haiku. It's just a bunch of haiku in, in a mm-hmm. row. And then another poem called R.E.M., And then I will play a recording of myself playing the baritone saxophone, uh, performing a piece called Variations on Repetitions by Anastasia Schultz. Ooh. Yes, very fun. Yeah. (laughs) All right, so here's our PSA. Let's see what we get. Indoor baseball, anyone? (laughs) Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. When you like vanilla ice cream, that's when you know. When it's not chocked full of shit, just a plain vanilla ice cream, that's when you know. When your brother's beard falls out, you grow your own. When the doctors take his leg and they take his eye. When you stop going for runs to avoid the empty stare from from his bedroom, that's when you know. Someday you bring home a girl and vanilla ice cream, which is something he hates. And he hates to sit there and watch you two spoon vanilla ice cream around. Nobody wants to ask you how he's doing, 
or the chemo. Nobody wants to ask you about vanilla ice cream. It's not worth repeating. Up late at night, it's him and vanilla ice cream, bald and poisoned. And sometimes the taste won't be such a big deal, and you get a laugh that couldn't wake this house up. And you both kiss vanilla ice cream in a silent kitchen, and that's when you know. A child is a plant who doesn't do so hot under sustained sunlight. <laughs> Talk is cheap, but yelling is not expensive. <laughs> in Illinois, they have paintings of Illinois in the waiting rooms. <laughs> do fingernails burn? Yes, but very slowly. My father tried to paint the ocean, but could not get her to sit still. And my last haiku for you, Robert Frost lives across the lake from me. Not the Robert Frost, but a Robert Frost. And sometimes I send him poems anyway. Yesterday I saw my brother eating alone, which reminded me of dad eating alone. And I figured that the men in my family have to eat alone. It's a matter of survival. Like the required hours of REM sleep, the men in my family are bound to several hours of eating alone each day, be it mustard sandwiches or the slow chew of bones and organs. saxophone sure sounded like it <laughs> sounds just like me uh and i was performing a piece by anastasia schultz called variations on repetitions before that you heard three poetry excerpts from mark Riome. uh i used that piece to start out a wombat set so at the end of that where i was like fading out uh will and carlos started playing like as i faded Ooh. out oh nice it's pretty cool the That's whole thing touch. is up on our youtube page youtube.com slash I hear I see you can listen to and watch the whole set it was a good time <laughs> we'll be doing more of that in the future uh, Wombat is playing in Missouri in March Ooh, where at um, I don't remember which college it is <laughs> yeah we're playing at uh, like a electronic music festival thing and then we're gonna try to book a show the next day in Kansas City as well that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. If you're listening to this show, I'll tell you more about it later <laughs> once it gets closer and I remember it better. So what do you have planned for this year besides the resolutions we just gave each other, Chris? Oh, man. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, plugging away at the old school. <laughs> and uh, what are you doing in school? Oh, I'm studying. Studying a lot of things. But mainly, <laughs> <What> things? <laughs> <laughs> mainly environmental studies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and all of that stuff so mm -hmm. yeah. so what can you tell me about the environment um maybe we should you know, save it i have to do the weather in 10 minutes oh yeah so we'll save <laughs> we'll save your environmental knowledge until then yeah okay sounds good all right cool <laughs> uh so in the meantime i'll play some more recordings to get us to the much awaited weather segment of the show uh i've got three tracks here from our october 5th show which we had at the high ground cafe i've got one song performed by Deb Tiemens. She's playing Bring Him Home, which is a song from Les Mis, if I remember right. I don't actually uh, know musicals very well, but yeah, I think that's either. what it's from. Uh, and then actually two more poems. 
And these two are by Gabby Ursula Shalette. The first is called Fields, and the second is called Reality. You're listening to I Hear I See Radio on KRUI, and I thank you for it. Here's Deb Tiemens. <laughs>
can become the scariest thing of all, a reality. And we're back. There was two poems by Gabby Ursula Shillette. The first was called Fields. The one you just heard was called Reality. Before that, you heard Deb Tiemann's performing Bring Him Home, which I confirmed is from the musical Les Mis. And when you Google Bring Him Home Les Mis, it says song by Hugh Jackman. <laughs> uh, not quite accurate, but that's fine. Uh, so it's currently 427, all right? Mm. And uh, my... The rules here are that at 4.30, I have to read the weather. I'm going to yeah. do it a couple minutes early so oh. we can... It's okay. The weather's not going to change too much in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. All right. So here's what I, what I have for you. Uh, it's partly cloudy, 39 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 0%, zero, precip- <laughs> zero percent precipitation, 82% humidity, and 17 mile per hour winds from the east southeast. <laughs> Very nice. Do you have do you have any additions to that? We can observe from the window what the weather is like. Well, yeah, it is a little little gray, but uh I guess going back to my environmental studies that I'm studying, I can tell you about the greater climate change going on in the area. Sure, tell me about it. Yeah. Tell me about that climate. So It doesn't tell me anything on weather.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh well, we have some funky kind of weather planned ahead for the next hundred years or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is a long forecast here. Yeah. It's a pretty long <laughs> forecast. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of like our regional hydroclimatology, a lot of that's going to be affected by melting Arctic sea ice in the summer. And that affects the oscillations of different atmospheric systems in the Atlantic ocean. And that goes in turn to the Gulf of Mexico. And then we get all the humidity and precipitation that's going on up there. But yeah, so so we might get more intense flooding events and really heavy downpours of rain more frequently. That sounds like great news. <laughs> yeah. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've you've studied some flood activity, right? In, uh, your, in your grad school yeah. studies? Yeah, yeah I kind of went back and like researched uh, the changes in our area. Um, yeah, because looking you're, back you're on from like the to be clear, yeah, yeah, Chris Cedar Rapids, Rapids, Cedar Rapids with yeah. me, with you, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I looked back at the studies done about the flood of 2008 mm-hmm. and since then, and greater changes and stuff. So yeah, most of what they were saying was like, oh yeah, there's probably going to be other floods like that, and then you know a few years later, oh yeah, almost another big bad flood, mm-hmm. and so we can probably expect some more of that. So that that'll be getting more frequent. Yeah. Mm. That's what it looks like, but well, yeah, that's en- bad. <laughs> en- enjoy the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not not gonna be fun. I don't really have it. I can't really do anything about that mm. personally. Can I? Well, what can I do, Chris? I mean, how many uh, flotation devices do you have? <sighs> uh, probably zero. <laughs> okay. Well, the first thing you can do is go to Walmart mm. and buy yourself some nice floaty things. Maybe you can like just staple on some big floaties to the side of your house and that way you'll be ready for the next flood so my house will float yes okay yeah i mean that's what the climate experts tell us to do i think (laughs) okay yeah see this is this is the information i don't get because i'm not in grad school yeah this is environmental science like you this is exactly what they're telling us to do Okay, well, I'm glad. I'm <laughs> you glad. should take my word. I am very, very serial. <laughs> I'm glad I have an expert on the show to help us out with that. <laughs> uh, let's let's hear some more stuff, all right? Yeah. I got some more stuff here on my computer to play. Uh, so I'm going to give you a big Divine Huff block right now. I've got four tracks from her. These are recorded live November 2nd at the Java House. Uh, and she is also reading poetry. The first poem is called What If We Stayed? Second one is Moments. Third one is Missing You. And the last one is Like Myself. Everybody in attendance at this show was very entertained by Divine. She was a wonderful performer, and she's a good friend. So I hope you all enjoy listening to her read her own poetry right now. Here you go. What if we stayed? Your face haunts me like your kisses, sweet and far away. What if we stayed? 
Perseverance wins the race, but I keep playing our story and repeat, retreating while remembering the pace of your steps as you walked away, of my heart whenever we touched, building foundations made of clay only to wash away like mud, stunned, confused, and bewildered at the thought of no return, forever was the promise both of us broke. So now I stoke the embers of our love, hoping for steady burn, churning the ashes of past ashes, putting to rest the games we played, trying and failing at grabbing smoke. What if we stayed? Then kisses wouldn't be distant, and neither would you, and neither would I dare break the promise of forever. Knowing our gift is the presence of our souls. Light burning bright, vibrant, vibrating towards highest growth. Toke on you and elevate to ascension. Pay attention to your essence. Breathe in us, breathe out insecurities. Deeply rooted in abundant opportunities. Skyline is the beginning of you and me, loving to heaven's eternity, life full of climax, creativity, and respect. We would reflect the love of God, inspiring those around us to do the same, acceptance, naming our path, but we didn't stay. Still, I will leave the window cracked just in case you want to come back to me, to us, to trust the process of love. I took a picture for you. You said to put on my goddess face. My smile was crooked but genuine. The direction was to hint at knowing, but there was no sexiness behind my eyes. Virginal? Nah way past that. <laughs> Dressed in all black, strong brick as a backdrop, super sunny day. You looked so fine. <laughs> Smelling good and confident. Said you even liked the picture. I looked and lied. Said that I liked the picture too. But all I could see was flaws. No goddess in my face. Not much knowing behind my eyes. Sexiness was very distant. And my smile was crooked, but genuine. Missing you? There have been many moons since we made love. With words, with touch, with longing. Still, the residue of you remains in the traces of the night. You held me tight when you thought I was the one, scared that I might slip away. I stayed long past expiration, days past explanations, gave up expectation that you could be my rock. The distance you drove when I didn't fall as fast or as hard or as blind or as fluid doesn't mean love wasn't true. So what do I do with this jar full of bliss, ambrosia, and doubt? Take a sip and wish that when you come back, that you would have my back to build on trust, on truth, on me and you. The taste is bittersweet, knowing I was once your queen, that you held me in high esteem, that you still see me in your dreams. And I'll forgive you for not coming back for me, for not being there when I needed rescuing, for being who I needed you to be for someone else. Like myself, feeling like myself again. No more distraction from my chosen path. Now I can laugh at misfortunes past Saying Sankofa and flying forward, looking back over shoulder, knowing I don't have to return to strife, to doubting life, to pay the price of happiness unfulfilled. By sheer will and being still, while praying lies in head away, I stayed on central path 
for longer, growing stronger day to day, moment to moment, zapping fear with love, replacing energies, swapping thoughts, purposeful action in smooth direction, avoiding bombs of doubt. If this is war, I am victor. The, through this cyclical maze, chasms repeat with haze still. I will remain open to healing and coping and healing and coping again. Can't lose sight of the prize my creator chose for me. Won't let go without a fight. I feel like myself again, even with this plight. You're listening to I Hear I See Radio. You just heard four poems by Divine Huff. If you like what you heard, you should check out Divine's radio show. It's not happening right now, but I assume she'll start it up again once school starts. It's called A Moment with Divine. Uh, sh- historically, she was doing the show Thursdays at 5. I assume she'll be doing that again soon. But you can listen to all of her past episodes, or at least most of them, on the KRUI SoundCloud page, which is soundcloud.com slash KRUI. It's a good show. I was on it once. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. So, Chris, you reminded me that the government is currently shut down. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Uh, you know, I don't know the full extent of it, but <laughs> yeah, people in the government are not working unless they absolutely have to because the lives of Americans depend on it. <laughs> and I know that a lot of people are working without being paid right now. Yeah, I think there is that going on as well. Mm-hmm. And then there's people that are just not going to work, but they're going to get paid eventually. So hopefully hopefully yeah yeah but you've been a federal employee before right i have i worked for the department of the interior and the national park service yeah so but uh there was never a government shutdown while you were doing that right no it was like the fall right before i came on to my summer season there was one and then i think mm, probably like it was maybe like a year after i'd stopped working for the feds mm. that i think there was another one. So, yeah I, yeah, I never had to deal with it. Yeah. did Were people, like, talking about what would happen? Uh, Yeah. Like, I mean, people will talk about it because yeah. they'll just be like, oh, yeah, I just had to, like, stay at home for a few weeks because you never know when it's going to start right. again. So that's well, yeah, the thing. I, is I it's assume not you're, a, you're friends with people that were yeah, yeah. federal employees right, when it yeah. happened. Yeah. yeah. So they basically just have to sit at home and, you know, especially, like, in nice places where, you know, I was out in western Colorado and mm-hmm. you could go and do fun vacations and things, but you never know when like the next day it's going to be like, oh yeah, it's up again, go to work. <laughs> so you're yeah. basically just sitting at home and it, I mean, if you play a lot of video games, like <laughs> I'm supposed to do for my resolutions this year, you'd right. be in good shape. Yeah, I wouldn't mind not working, but right. I mean, if you're, I mean, most federal employees are not really being paid that much, right? Mm, yeah. And I mean, yeah, especially like on in the park service, there's you know a big tier of like yeah yeah very seasonal employees that are you know being paid okay for a season, but it's yeah, just a season. Yeah. 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 So hopefully they don't have to go too long without being paid. Yep. Anyway. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Good luck if you're listening and you are a federal employee. Yeah. And if you if you have anything to say right now about being a federal employee to educate me or maybe get your message out there, maybe you can send us a tweet at I hear I see. I will read whatever you say on the air. Well, not whatever you say, but, you know, be nice and I'll read it. Okay, back to the music. So the rest of what I have for today was all recorded on December 1st at the Trumpet Blossom. Right now I'm going to play three tracks by Shakes. Uh, he's uh, I just met him this year. He's a nice guy. He does sort of a rap R&B kind of thing. He told me he really likes Prince. And I can I can hear that in what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, the first track is called Moment One. The second one is called Sweet Lips. And the last one is called Aretha. Uh, it uses an Aretha Franklin sample. I assume people could have figured that out on their own, but, you know, I'll be helpful. Uh, and if you like what you hear, you can check out more of his stuff on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash shakes, I see. <laughs> She has my city post, neon raindrops on my window in my shampoo. Maybe reckless on my drink, those fill up fill at ease. Probably from the tree. Have you ever been so high that you ain't wanna leave? 
don't go judging me. You see yourself in me. Tell me how your hands fell on my heat of sea. Now let me lay the sea. Child, let me lay it. Let me lay it. I can tell by your eyes that you feel it. I got you, don't worry, don't worry, just focus on this feeling. No smoking, no smoking, no smoking, no blow smoke to the ceiling. Fall in love with that feeling. No such thing as fear, especially when you're here with me. You can give me a, a little bit more volume on everything, man. It won't break the speakers. Turn it up.
awesome. Just hanging out, man. Like I said, I'm shaking and from here. I have no idea what song is next. We'll see what happens. Support for KROI is brought to you in part by The Broken Spoke. They offer new and used bicycles, cycling accessories, and also service all kinds of bikes. They can be found in Iowa City at their new address, 757 South Gilbert Street. For more information, visit thebrokenspoke.com or call 319-338-8900. Yeah. She pumps the line on the bathroom store, yeah, she takes the ball and she pumps it all. Uh, give it, give it to me, come on, yeah. See, lonely is the place of life that plays forever. She'll break your whole heart to pieces and put it back together. She'll change you like seasons and leave like the weather. She a woman's girl, don't buy, she got the power, she got the power, yeah, man down. There's a woman on the prowl, man down. Woman takes her crown, man down. Yeah. Her feelings are unfound, there's blood everywhere, people stop and stare, somebody help this man out. Shakes. You're listening to I Hear I See Radio. My name's Justin. And I'm Chris. That's Chris over there. If you like Shakes, you can find more of his stuff on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash shakes I see. He's a good live performer too, so you should try to catch him live. Whenever yeah. whenever he performs live. <laughs> I don't know how to keep track of it. But I'll I'll tell you if I hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can watch the video of his performance on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash I hear I see. And actually that goes for everything I've been playing today. It's all up on our YouTube page. Again, that's youtube.com slash I hear I see. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were telling me, uh, about a, a new word I didn't know. Oh, it's called super fund. Yeah. Super fund. Cause I said, when I played that broken spoke grant spot, I said super fun. Because yeah. it's super fun to play grand spots on the radio. No, I said super thought, fun. Yeah, you thought I was saying super fun yeah. with a D on the end. Right. And Which is, what is that? 
Uh, super fun. Is it like a, it's kind of a little environmental thing. Uh, if you have a site that's really contaminated, there's a bunch of money that's either pooled from people who own And this is like a, like stuff. a mining site? Yeah, like mining or like, you know, some other weird contamination. <laughs> and yeah, that could grow monsters. Some great, great yeah. activity that we engage in. Right. And so either the government's paying for it via the EPA to like clean it up, or if some company was really lazy about cleaning it up, then they have to do it. And, hmm. but yeah, super fun. So the super, There's, the super fund is the money that goes towards the cleanup. I think so. Yeah. Or like the long term like containment of this hmm. disgusting goo. Ah, good. Yeah. If, so it's, uh, it's the money that goes into protecting us from yeah. the goo. Yeah. Cause you need money to keep protecting yeah. yourself from the keep goo. Keep the goo off of us. Yeah. Keep that goo off of me. <laughs> That's what they say at the the picket lines outside of <laughs> outside of the goo mining sites. Yeah, keep that goo off of me. Keep that goo <laughs> off, off of me. me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna play some more music. Yeah, you ready for it? Yeah. All right, the first one's gonna be Vero Rose Smith performing her song Penelope, which she played here live in the studio a while back. It involves her voice and it involves her French horn. And then after that, I'm going to play an excerpt from the Demon Possessed set at this Trumpet Blossom show. This is the final seven minutes of their set because I played some other chunk of it before on the show. So here we go. Up first is Vero Rose Smith and then the Demon Possessed. Here we go. <laughs>
That was The Demon Possessed. Before that was Vero Rose Smith. I have to remind you now, you're listening to I Hear I See Radio here on KRUI in Iowa City. 89.7 FM on your radio. KRUI.FM streaming on your computer. Or phone. Or any other internet-enabled device. <laughs> We've reached the final segment of today's show. How do you feel, Chris? Oh, I feel feel so good. Thank you for joining me in the studio today. Yeah, it was nice oh. to hear all these I hear I see things that I haven't been able to attend in person. Yeah, you've been you've been out of the state for a while. Yeah. So you've been missing these shows. Yeah. But you used to come to quite a bit of them. Yeah, I always love hearing it. So <laughs> if no one's gone out to them before, I recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, speaking of recommending things, do you have anything you'd like to plug while I've got you here in the studio? Oh. Not too much. I'm not really doing much out in New Hampshire. Yeah, not music-wise anyway. Yeah, not music-wise, yeah. But I will say that you have uh, contributed to several of the musical projects available on my Bandcamp page, which is justinkcomer.bandcamp.com. Right, right. There's all sorts of good stuff out there. You can hear lots of Chris's improvisations and his musical creativity on display. New (laughs) songs coming soon. (laughs) <laughs> soonish whenever <laughs> whenever i take the time to complete them uh and actually if you if you like this show and you like chris you can go back and listen to the show from two weeks ago and you'll hear more of chris right and our uh, our origin story that's right that's <laughs> right yeah we talked about the burrito thing on there right yeah 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 good so that's the real origin story yeah of right. us yeah 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 so i've got some stuff i gotta plug so mm-hmm. bear with me for just a minute here um, the next I Hear I See live show will be January 25th at the Mill, beginning around 8 p.m. Uh, I can tell you we're booking the greatest acts known to man <laughs> or woman or non-binary friends. Uh, it's going to be a great show. I'll tell you more details as soon as we got everything nailed down. But until then, here's a couple shows you could check out. Uh, on the 13th at 8 p.m. at Gabe's, this will be like a hard metal show. It's going to be really fun and loud. You can hear In the Mouth of Radness, Pulsing, and Good Habits. And then on the 26th, I guess that's after our show, but <laughs> I'll plug it anyway. Uh, at 6 p.m., Public Space One is having their yearly art auction as well as their 16th birthday celebration. Public Space One is a very important uh, venue and community support zone <laughs> in the city so uh i i will try to attend their birthday celebration um i'm gonna be back here next week in the studio that'll be the 13th at 4 p.m and i plan on interviewing my old friend alex schulte of the cedar rapids band running in place and we may get more members of that band in the studio who knows but i'm pretty sure alex will be here <laughs> so we'll be talking about uh his life and the band and what they do and hopefully listening to some recordings of the stuff that they've been playing okay uh what else do i have uh we have a band camp page where we sell t-shirts and stuff i can't get too specific on the radio but you can find that if you're interested (laughs) (laughs) Uh, we have a website for this thing it's ihearic.com there you'll find links to our facebook twitter youtube and patreon pages every episode of this radio show is recorded and released online as a podcast, which you can subscribe to on iTunes, Google Play, Mixcloud, SoundCloud, or Stitcher. If you go to the episode description on whatever platform you choose, you will find links to artist pages. So if you hear something you like in the show, you can find more of that stuff that you like and listen to more of it and like it more. <laughs> uh, if you out there are a musician or creative person of any stripe and you would like to get in touch with us to let us know about events you have coming up or projects that you want us to know about anything like that get in touch with us by email i hear i see at gmail.com end of plugs <laughs> how did i do oh pretty nice every week i try to do it not exactly the same but following the same pattern you Ooh, know? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> very skillful. so it's not it's not too boring but it's consistent you know yeah because exactly. i'm a professional radio broadcaster yeah and you know you just gotta you gotta have super fun times on this show so <laughs> it makes right. things up a little that's right so uh i'm gonna close out the show with some music do you have any closing statements chris no i mean i guess just everyone else have a super fun evening yes yeah i agree <laughs> everyone have a super fun evening and week thank you for listening thank you for telling your friends to listen thank you 
for music. All right. Speaking of music, here's some music. This is uh, Annika Kildegard and Will Yeager performing the second half of the Catherine Balch composition, Frazes. And that'll be the end of today's show. Thanks again. See you later. Good night.
Boy, I wish all these weirdos would shut up. Hey, this is Fred Schneider, and I'm listening to, well, trying to listen to KRUI on 89.7, the sound alternative in Iowa City. Oh, <laughs> 